We talked about protein powders. I generally said that protein powders can be used, but one should be careful. But I did not inform him about people who should never use protein powder, who can't use protein powder in this video. Five instances where protein powder should not be used. First, kidney and liver failure. If you have kidney and liver insufficiency, the amino acids you take with protein powders can strain the kidneys and liver and the uric acid metabolism and urea metabolism can accelerate. Therefore, in the case of a deficiency in the kidneys and liver, or when taking certain medications that can strain the liver, it is advisable to avoid using protein powder as well. Excessive protein burdens pastries and liver. Consuming 3 grams of protein per kilogram, equivalent to 240 grams for an 80 kilogram person, doesn't cause problems. However, if there is a deficiency in pastries and liver, it is recommended to stay below 0.8 grams per kilogram throughout the day to avoid any issues. To calculate accurately, multiply grams in weight, find daily protein requirement for precise numbers. But in general, if you have a serious question about kidney queens, stay away from protein powders. Secondly, we do not recommend children under the age of 16 to consume protein powder because a developing individual should receive a child's diet. In order to continue developing regularly, it must consume these proteins through nutrition. Using protein powder can cause severe vitamin and mineral deficiencies. If protein is consumed, it should be obtained from nutrition. Furthermore, if a youth is in sports, they must seek help from a nutrition expert without fail. Whether it's a child or an adult, the nutrition of a person who exercises is unique and should be supported by an expert. Generally, we do not recommend children to consume protein powder. Third, those who are allergic to milk. Ultimately, we're referring to a protein derived from cheese whey powder when we mention whey protein. Whey proteins make up the largest part of animal protein powders and these are a dairy product. If you have an allergy to milk and lactose intolerance, you may need to refrain from consuming these. Please consult your doctor. Why am I saying this? Lactose intolerance and milk allergy are different things. Lactose intolerance is already a serious issue in society. Those with lactose intolerance can usually use protein powders. But if you have a cow milk allergy, if you have an allergy to milk and dairy products, if you have a chronic inflammatory condition, and if they are triggered by these, you may need to stay away from protein powders, especially animal whey protein powders. Fourth, allergic individuals. Some chemicals in protein powder can trigger allergic reactions and even cause anaphylaxis. If you have a severe allergic person, please consult your specialist before using protein powder. Protein powder can trigger some allergic reactions in allergic individuals, not because of the proteins in its structure, but because of the additional additives. If you have allergies, consult a doctor before using protein powder. Prioritize your health. 5. Protein powders are not used for weight loss. On the contrary, protein powders can cause weight gain. When dieting with a protein deficiency and doing sports, take protein powder to avoid protein deficiency during intense workouts. Ensure adequate protein intake while maintaining an active lifestyle. But I will buy my protein powder. I won't eat anything else. I will give species by dieting with protein powder. Very wrong. These do not replace a meal. Protein powders should not replace any meal in a healthy diet. I often see this mistake. The person is quitting the sport. They fast for a long time. They manage with protein powder after workouts. This is not true. We need life, minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, and many other supplementary foods. A healthy diet is holistic and should consist of the Mediterranean diet. We also need carbohydrates. We also need healthy fats, fibers, and greens. Protein powders are not used for weight loss. Protein powders should not be part of a weight loss diet. If you have one of these five conditions, we do not recommend consuming protein powder. Protein powder is not essential, but timing and place important. I recommend having high awareness and consciousness on this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.